next one is imagination. This is the gold mine of wealth creation. Every, every product or service was first created in the realm of imagination. Is that not correct? Every, not some, all. Everything that you and I use today. And that's why they say ideas rule the world. Something that is capable of ruling the world is certainly a capital. <laughs> that is why people sit down, imagine something, and sell ideas without producing one product. You know people have sell ideas. That's why somebody can compose a song and sell it without going to the studio. That's why somebody can write a book and put it online and say, buy it, take away my name. If there's no name, there's a space, put your name and publish it as your owner. What is he selling? Idea. The best thing you can bring to your organization is the power of your imagination. Some only go to their office with their hand. Their mind is at home. You don't only give your best with your hand. You give your best to your company, your best to your business with your mind. Because your mind is creative nature. And the moment you become more imaginative, you look more like God. Because God is a creative God. So the breath that God put on your inside was the breath that created anything and everything. I believe you are getting what I'm talking about. The next one. Energy. Energy is the ability to do work we are told. And it can be both physical energy and mental energy. Energy is also a capital. Sportsmen, coaches, they understand this. <laughs> That's why before they, they say, let us do stamina tests. Boxers, they understand that energy. You know that boxers, or even football teams, basketball players, long tennis, but sometimes the reason why one person will win, not because of skill, but endurance. The energy level. In the days of slave trade, energy was king. They would come and check out people like they're checking out fish. They say, say you say, show your mother, show your mother this. They look at him and say, okay, you're looking healthy. Say, move your leg. Say, jump up. Let me see how high I can jump. They are testing your energy skill. And Bible says the strength, the energy, the strength of the youth is what? Is there what? Is there what? Is there glory? The glory of the youth is their strength. That means because you are strong, you can use your, let me tell you, energy management has become a major discourse globally. Because you can have time, if you don't have energy, you are almost useless. That's why your grandfather lying down in the village, he can only sit down. He can't do nothing. He's alive but has no energy. That's why you cannot be wasting your energy in doing rubbish stuff. You can't use your energy to go and be doing nine club and do nine club for morning and then the next day. So you waste Friday night. The three quarter of Saturday also wasted because you will not do anything useful. You'll be, you'll be sleepy. You have wasted energy. You talk, talk, energy, talk. Energy, you are, energy is going. I, I wish that God has put a meter that tells us our energy level. Maybe some people will have reduced the way they behave. You look and say, my energy level is so, 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 so kg. Ah, I need to stop talking now. They say, that, mm, 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 mm. you'll be using your words more carefully. Your energy, you'll be managed, you'll be, because with that energy, there's some things you can't do. You say, I want to write book. You see, when you are 120, you don't even have power. Your hand can't move. Even if they bring voice articulated device, say speak, and then it translates to words, you can't talk. You are alive, but no energy. Have you not seen people that are sick? They lie down almost lifeless. They are alive, they are young, but no energy. So when you are low on energy, you are low on capital. Meaning anything that drains your energy is draining your capital. See, the things I'm talking about, they are so powerful that I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this in on credit. 
I'm not asking you to pay for it. I'm giving you on credit because I know you are going to use this thing to turn your life around and that will be my testimony and my joy in the name of Jesus Christ. You know you can convert your energy to cash, convert your energy to collateral or to equity. That's why when people are doing partnership, they say, what will you contribute? I don't have money, but I have power. I can do the work. That energy is your own equity contribution. When I started a dry cleaning company, you know, uh, many years ago, <laughs> the person I was working with me, he had no money. I had the money. He didn't have money. But he said, I have energy. I have the sense. I can do it. So he's doing the washing with machine. We start with the hand. Then later we bought machines. So he was using his hand to wash. And then iron. His energy, my energy, and marketing and the small resources I brought until we grew, until we bought machines. So you say, I don't have machine to start. Your energy can be converted to machine. You say, I'm looking for money to buy this, this tool for my trade. You can go to where they are doing stuff and contribute your energy. I used to see people that used to, I mean, there's a man's story that's amazing. This guy, where they used to offload containers. He said, oh, should be, hey, oh, should be. I'm sure you've seen those kind of people before. And then he carries this stuff, and then he go drop them. I, he was carrying it, not with the man I will keep doing this thing. I want to raise something. So he converted his energy to capital and left that stuff. May your energy translate you to some higher level of capital in the mighty name of Jesus. The next one. The next one. I'm sure you are getting something from this. The next one is an opportunity. When an opportunity shows up, capital just came. When an opportunity shows up, capital just did what came. When an opportunity shows up, capital just came. Success is when opportunity means preparedness. When opportunity meets with preparation. If you are prepared and you don't have an opportunity, it will not convert to success. So, opportunity is what brings out as a reward for all your preparation. So, don't joke with opportunity. It's a chance to do something. A chance to clean house. A chance to do... Because, I mean, it does so much. I can stay on this thing for hours. Opportunity gives you visibility. Every opportunity is pregnant. Don't joke with it. And this opportunity does not only give birth to male or female. It can give birth to anything. Opportunity can give birth to anything. Depend on how you use that opportunity. Joseph was an expert at using opportunities. He used opportunity in his father's house to, to establish integrity and favor. In his master's house, he used this opportunity to serve. He was not complaining. My father is a good man. I'm here. He was not scheming to go back and meet the father. Maybe his scheme, the Bible did not tell us. But he used every chance. They threw him inside prison. He was even, in, he said, why is your face like this? What's wrong with you? You are in prison. You're not even happy that you're alive. Please rejoice. He said, no, no, why would I be happy? He didn't see the dream I had last night. He said, what is the dream? He said, ah, I can interpret for you. He did not charge them money for that interpretation. Because some people don't take opportunity because everything for them is not and gobo. If you don't pay me, I'm not doing anything for you. At the beginning of what you are doing, you cannot put money forward because you know opportunity is bigger than cash. I pray, may your opportunities turn around to be a source of your blessing. You see, when God opens a door for you, listen to this, it's your responsibility to keep it open. I'm going to say it again. When God gives you an opportunity, it's now your responsibility to keep it what? Open. So, meeting people and making friends is an opportunity. Going for a seminar is an opportunity. Reading a book, meeting somebody, helping somebody is an opportunity. Working with a particular organization is an opportunity. Some places you walk, they may not pay you what you think you deserve. 
But ultimately, you are going to have the result of something great. Next one. Tools and equipment and machinery. Oh.